If you followed a sperm whale into the deep, you would not just see darkness. You would see outlines of creatures that look unfinished, as if evolution stopped halfway through and never came back. Eyes too large, jaws too flexible, bodies stretched thin by pressure and hunger. These are the things only sperm whales ever meet, the creatures that live so far down that even our cameras panic and turn back. For us, the deep sea is a mystery. For the sperm whale, it is where he excels. Let us take a look at 10 of the creatures the sperm whale encounters on its way down to 3,000 meters depth. The barrel eye fish looks like something designed by a nervous engineer. Its entire head is a clear, fluid-filled dome, and inside it float two giant, green, tube-shaped eyes that rotate upward like periscopes. These eyes stare straight through its own skull, watching for prey silhouetted above. Found around 600 to 800 meters, barrel eyes drift motionless, their bodies perfectly still, while the eyes swivel independently. Remotely operated vehicle footage shows the creature glowing faintly, as if lit from within, the curved helmet shimmering when light touches it. To a sperm whale diving past, the barrel eye must look like a floating glass orb with a pair of staring eyes trapped inside. It does not flee. It just watches. A deep sea creature with a transparent head is unsettling. A creature that uses it to stare through you is worse. Imagine a woodlouse. Now make it half a meter long, give it, armor perm give it armor plates, and drop it into total darkness. Congratulations, you have created the giant isopod. These creatures live around 2,000 meters deep and scuttle across the seafloor like armored tanks. Footage from Japan and Mexico shows them crawling over whale falls, pulling apart flesh with slow, deliberate movements that look disturbingly methodical. A sperm whale descending through the dark may see these creatures clustering around carcasses, moving like a pile of clicking shells. They do not hunt whales, but the sight of something so familiar, scaled into a nightmare, is enough to make anyone rethink going swimming. Giant amphipods shouldn't exist, but they do. And we have them at number eight. They look exactly like the tiny translucent creatures that swim in shallow water. Except these are the size of human hands, collected with bait traps from depths up to 7,000 meters, these oversized crustaceans stretch and twitch in slow motion, their exoskeletons bending like plastic. Their bodies are see-through, revealing organs glowing under the faint light of remotely operated vehicles. To a sperm whale, giant amphipods are everywhere, rising from whale falls, drifting in currents, floating up from the abyss. To us, they look like a glitch. If the ocean had a wrong scale setting, this would be it. Cookie cutter sharks are only 50 centimeters long and our number seven, yet they have attacked everything from dolphins to nuclear submarines. Their bioluminescent bodies glow gently from below, tricking predators into thinking they are harmless. But when a whale passes overhead, the cookie cutter swims upward latches on with its lips, twists, and removes a perfect circle of flesh. A biological ice cream scoop. Sperm whales have been recorded to return to the surface, covered in fresh cookie cutter scars, crater-shaped wounds with smooth, clean edges. These sharks rarely appear on camera, but footage shows their jagged lower teeth and strange oversized eyes built for ambush in total darkness. They are not terrifying because of size. They are terrifying because of precision. The stoplight loose jaw looks like a creature made from spare parts. Its lower jaw detaches completely, hanging like a metal trap. 
Its mouth is almost skeletal, revealing sharp, widely spaced teeth designed to slice through soft-bodied prey. But its real weapon is its light. Most deep-sea animals cannot see red wavelengths, so the loose jaw evolved red bioluminescence, the rarest color of natural light in the ocean. It can illuminate prey without being seen, acting like a sniper using an infrared scope. Footage from deep sea expeditions shows this fish flashing its red lights while striking with blinding speed. To a sperm whale relying on sonar, the loose jaw appears as a flicker. It is fast and small, but it is built like a biological ambush machine. If you enjoy discovering the ocean's distorted designs, feel free to like and subscribe before Neptune sends you one for Christmas. At number five, the viperfish looks like something built for a horror film. Its teeth are so long, it physically cannot close its mouth. They curve upward like exposed needles, designed to impale prey rather than bite it. Living from 1,000 to 2,000 meters, the viperfish waits motionless, using a glowing lure beneath its mouth to draw in prey. When it strikes, it bends its spine like a bow and launches forward with shocking speed. Footage from deep sea trawls shows viperfish jaws opening impossibly wide, teeth crossing like pickaxes. Sperm. Whales moving through these depths encounter viperfish scattered through the water column, sharp little shadows drifting in the dark. They are tiny compared to a whale, barely 30 centimeters, but their jaws alone are enough to make you reconsider night swimming. The black dragonfish looks delicate until you see its teeth. That's why he's our number four. Females have fangs as long as their heads, thin as glass, sharp enough to puncture armor-like scales. Their skin is so black it barely reflects light, even under lamps from remotely operated vehicles. And hanging from their chin is a glowing lure that pulses gently like a heartbeat. But the strangest part is that dragonfish can produce near infrared light, a wavelength invisible to most deep sea animals. It is an adaptation that lets it hunt while its prey cannot see it, like having night vision goggles in an abyss full of blind targets. They are found at 2,000 meters, where whales begin their deeper foraging dives. Watching footage of a dragonfish is like looking at a creature that shouldn't exist. All angles, lights, and impossible proportions. The sperm whale will not fight these creatures. It simply passes by as they flash and vanish like underwater lightning. At number three, the monsters stop being small. Giant squid reach lengths of 10 to 13 meters with tentacles lined with suction cups studded with sharp, serrated teeth. These animals live where no ROV stays for long, 500 to 1,000 meters, drifting in the pitch black like floating shadows. No one has filmed a full fight between a sperm whale and a giant squid. But whales return to the surface with scars wrapped around their heads like white bracelets, the exact size and shape of giant squid suckers. Inside stranded whales, scientists have found torn squid arms, giant beaks and fragments of tentacles proving the battles are not rare. When a whale dives through the twilight zone, it is entering giant squid hunting territory, a place where the only rule is eat or be eaten. And something even worse lives deeper. The colossal squid is the giant squid's heavier, deadlier cousin, up to 500 kilograms, with thicker arms, stronger tentacles, and rotating hooks capable of tearing flesh like metal tools. Its eyes are the largest of any animal ever recorded. Each one is the size of a dinner plate. Colossal squid live in the southern ocean at depths near 2,000 meters where the temperature is freezing and the pressure can crush steel. Few have ever been filmed alive, but the ones pulled up accidentally are huge, pale and scarred from deep water struggles. Sperm whales regularly dive into this zone. That means the whale meets colossal squid, not as myth, 
but as prey. Every encounter is violent. Every encounter leaves marks, and the whale's stomach often holds pieces of colossal squid arms, still armed with hooks. But even these titans aren't the strangest thing the whale sees. The bigfin squid is the ocean's glitch, and the top of this list. It doesn't swim, it hovers. It does not have normal arms. Instead, it has long, elbowed appendages that drop straight down and extend up to eight meters, held at sharp angles like marionette wires. Only a handful have ever been filmed. Every sighting shows the same unsettling movement, slow, drifting, puppet-like, as if suspended on invisible strings. They live at 3,000 meters, a zone where whales begin to push their limits. A whale's sonar likely sees the big fin as strange, floating architecture, long lines, thin limbs, no clear shape. Scientists do not know how it eats. They do not know how it mates. They do not even know how big it gets. But sperm whales? They've seen the full picture. They swim through a world of creatures that look like unfinished thoughts, half-formed designs lost in darkness. If you enjoy staring directly into the ocean's bug folder of rejected prototypes, feel free to like and subscribe before evolution decides to patch in something even worse. And if you want to know what sperm whales carry home from these depths, watch seven most disturbing things found inside sperm whales.